let's do something interesting today. Today, we're going to talk about dark greenhouses. Now, when I say dark greenhouses, what I mean is greenhouses that grow crops that don't require the sun. Now, this is a different way to look at production. Greenhouses in general are designed to get an enormous amount of light. And a dark greenhouse is the exact opposite. It's growing something that doesn't want light. Now, this is not about shade cloths. That's an entirely different video and discussion. A shade cloth will reduce the amount of light that you get in your greenhouse, primarily to reduce heat. Um, in southern areas and in areas where you're looking at 35, 40 degree heat outside with the sun blaring down on a greenhouse, it's going to get too hot in your greenhouse. So you put a shade cloth on that. That's something different than what this is. Today, we're going to talk about dark greenhouses. Greenhouses that require no sunlight and don't want sunlight. We're going to the dark side. <laughs> Simple Tech, that's the name of this channel. And we got piles of other videos on greenhouses and growing. You should check out after watching this one. My name's Coco. And Dad says every time you hit like and mention it in the comments below, I get a cookie. So you got to hit like and mention it in the comments below because I like cookies. So when we talk about dark greenhouses, we're talking about greenhouses that have no light or very, very little light. Once again, it's not a shade cloth that's getting half the light or a third of the light. This is designed specifically for crops that don't want sun. My favorite crop that doesn't require the sun and most people's favorite crop is mushrooms. Mushrooms are a no light crop that is grown commercially and is often grown in greenhouses that have all the light blocked out from them. Have you ever gone picking for mushrooms? One of the things you're gonna find if you go picking for mushrooms, and I've done it for morels, we have a season for them out here and you can get a ton of them and they're fantastic and tasty and free if you can find them is they grow in the shade. They grow not facing the sun whatsoever. So when you're commercially growing mushrooms to eat, you're gonna find that you need to create an environment that has little or no light, or you're not gonna get any mushrooms. So that's the first one we're talking about is mushrooms. The next common crop that's grown without light is actually microgreens. Microgreens start in a very dark environment and Although they tend to not be grown in the entire large greenhouse like this, a lot of people will grow them in their basement and make that their greenhouse. Microgreens like it dark. They like it warm and moist and don't bug them. And they're going to grow like crazy. So if you want to get into the microgreen market, and there's a lot of money to be made in the microgreen market these days, because it's actually just exploding with clientele, then you need to create an environment to grow these microgreens without any light. And it's often done in small greenhouses within a greenhouse or light deprivation areas where you can actually grow the greenhouse microgreens with no light, but have other spots and areas where you have a lot of light to grow other things. Another crop that's grown and grown in large production amounts is sprouts. Bean sprouts grow without light and they're grown specifically in large commercial areas, which you can really call a greenhouse because they are growing crops, but there's no sun. Um, either they're grown in an old warehouse that they can convert and can control, or a greenhouse is created with a no light situation, a 100% block shade that's put over it. And this is how we grow sprouts. And sprouts is something I love to eat. I buy them all the time, I put them in my salads. And most people don't realize that sprouts are grown without light. Another plant that goes on the, on the dark side. Another food that the health food nuts seem to absolutely love is wheatgrass. Now you wouldn't think that health food people want to actually chow down on a plant that doesn't need sunlight, but wheatgrass seems to be one of the main staples in the smoothies that they make. Wheatgrass grows without sun. The big production facilities for wheatgrass are all warehouses that have no light in them, light deprived, or they're grown in the basement for someone that wants to make it for themselves and they can control the light and keep the light down and have no light whatsoever for growing wheatgrass. So 
So that's another one, wheatgrass. It's actually on the dark side. A cool specialty crop you can look at is white asparagus. Now you'd think being white that it would like the light. Nope. This is a crop that's grown in the dark. Dark greenhouses, basements, or a closet or area that is completely light deprived is what you need to grow this crop. The downside of this crop is it can take up to a year to actually grow. The upside is that you could stuff it in the back of your closet and it'll grow back there because it doesn't like light. As long as it's got good temperature control and you water it occasionally, you're going to wind up with white asparagus, which is a delicacy. And it's another crop that actually belongs on the dark side. Another specialty crop is forced rhubarb. It's grown in near freezing temperatures. You want to almost freeze the roots before you set it up. And it grows fairly quickly. In a month or two, it'll actually give you a harvestable crop. That being said, it does not like the light. It's, we're not talking shaded areas. Forced rhubarb needs to be grown in the dark. And that gives it a flavor that's different than anything else you're going to find out there or what you would expect from rhubarb. It's loaded with vitamins and is something maybe you should check out if you haven't had it. So that's six crops that grow in the light. What about greenhouses? Well, let's take a look and see what we got on the side here. For different options, you can actually add to your greenhouse if you want to go to the dark side. There are 100% shade cloths. There's also specific greenhouses that are designed to completely block out the light and they'll have the ability to open up and let some light in, which is probably what you need for working on them or if you wanna change crops to something else. Actually having the ability to go to different crops at different times of the year when markets are best for them or when they grow best based upon the climate that you're in is a wonderful thing to do and something that's really worth setting up and considering when you're buying and building your greenhouse. Imagine if you can go into different seasons with different crops, but the most profitable crop imaginable for that season because of some technology on your greenhouse that allows you to target that. You can go from a regular greenhouse to a shaded greenhouse to a completely darkened out greenhouse and grow those crops that get you the most money.